All right, we're here with part four of a four-part epic mini-series chronicling the first wave of the Force Awakens action figures, unboxing slash review slash just showing them off. If you couldn't find them, you know what you're getting. Or if you're on the fence about them, you can see what they're all about. This is the last uh, set of four <coughs> figures that we have to open for you. Uh, you can watch the other three videos if you're interested in the rest of them. We have the first order flamethrower which is a pretty cool figure. We have oh, Finn, too, who is one of the main characters in the new movie. And if you saw the quick, spoiler alert, the quick 15 second uh, snippet they put up on Instagram, you see him facing off against Kylo Ren and he's holding a lightsaber. So he's gonna be a big deal here. And we also have Constable uh, Zuo, who uh, is an alien who looks pretty and gnarly. Uh, he he comes with an ax. Oh, I can't tell. Uh, Looks like Finn a bad comes guy, with but... a jetpack, and the First Order uh, flamethrower figure comes with what looks to be some sort of shield. And when combined, you get a completely un-Star Wars looking uh, device. I don't know what that's going to look like when it's done, but we'll find out. So I'm going to open Constable uh, that's gonna look like this. Zubo. Is that what it's going to look like? Yeah. Oh. I've been waiting to open this flame trooper. Is it the flames? Alright. Oh my gosh, Dad. Yeah, it's glued in there pretty good. Oh, interesting. This is what the inside looks like. So now I do Constable oh, Zuo. Yeah. That's what it looks like. He actually came with this little backpack attached to him. And there's a hole in his back, so that's uh actually came attached which is kind of unusual everything else i have had to attach myself oh dad look this is set, little now, five points now, of articulation this is where flames come through. oh that's the the flamethrower pack he has his staff which let's see here unlike uh unlike the last video this one actually kind of hits the ground when he's holding it which makes sense well not last video Right? Was the video before that. Oh, was the video before that? Alright. And these are the two items that he has. Uh, yeah. Dual axes, which are actually kind of decent looking. They show mm -hmm. suitably jagged edges. And there's two of them that will combine to make an absolutely ridiculous killing machine. So we'll please start piecing that together as well. That's him. He's, uh, he's interesting. He looks like he'd be on the uh, Jakku planet. He has the mask covering his face. Maybe keep the dust out. Uh, pretty good detailing on it, green, red, uh, then the basic plastic. You can see on his wrist he has some electronics lit up. So, that's cool. Where's your first order flamethrower? Yeah, this is another, another cool figure. Uh, first order stormtrooper flamethrower. You got the pack on the back. You got a nice cable going to the weapon, which is very cool. And a nice touch. Where's the other first order? You can see the helmet's different uh, because of the heat he's going to be showing off. He has a more uh, streamlined visor to protect his face. But not as much protection on the chest, which is probably the most valued part. That's on right. Actually, even right down to the legs are different. Uh, they didn't just use the same molding. Uh, you can see the legs are different thickness, the knees are different, the armor's pretty much completely different all the way around. Different thickness, different design, which is nice. I thought they would have just used the same body uh, molding, changed the helmet and the pack. Uh, just unclip that. Yeah, this one comes off the back. Just attaches with a simple plug there. Very cool looking figure. Good for army building, of course. George, you got the shield. So let's see if I can piece this thing together. Alright. Party slam! Okay. Aha! Interesting. Alright, so you can see the little traction and gears on this one. So we got this. Whee! We put these down. Flip it. Darn. Oh. So this middle piece here actually 
adjusts. Why? So you want to twist that all the way around so it looks like that. And then you're going to stick this on the top. This guy does not wipe the hold of lefty. Let me see that. Let's see if he's a lefty. or uh, Yeah, a lefty. And then... I think he's a lefty, Dad. A lefty. And then an ash tip short. So there you go. Wow. He moves along, along the ground. He has these two pincher type things that can expand and collapse, crushing his victims with ease. I'm setting up all the guys that we have on the table so far. Actually, it doesn't look that bad of a thing when it's all put together. It looks suitably, uh, you know, Jakku or Tatooine pieced together with spare parts to create a new weapon. Look at all these guys. This, the first wave of Star Wars, of course, we don't have. The first three that we've opened because they're on Dad's desk. On Dad's desk. You want to grab them? Go ahead. Okay. So let's take a look at Finn. So Finn has a kind of a hybrid weapon. It looks halfway, it's much bigger than a pistol, but less than a rifle. It doesn't have the forward stock, uh, which is kind of interesting. No place to... Uh, Put the weapon so there's no holster or attachment on the leg. And his jacket actually kind of looks like the one Luke wore at the uh, at the end of Star Wars, was it? Where he wore this beige jacket. Uh, what if it is his? Be kind of interesting. Yeah, I'd be weird. Um, so we got all the guys here. And girl. And girl, guys and girls. Or yeah, two girls. <laughs> Captain Phasma's girl. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Captain Phasma is, in fact, a girl. And she is cool as heck. I actually have a Captain uh, Phasma um, bobblehead up on my uh, shelf in the living room now, too. So I, I dig that. So we got all kinds of nonsense here. With, uh, and these are the, the first wave. You can just look at all... Different characters from the first wave. There you go. All 12 of them in all their glory. Uh, it's been years since we've gotten a new line of Star Wars toys. And, and also me and my dad are going to be playing a new Star Wars movie with the old ones. That's right. Going we down have... to the basement where we have all of our ships and all other action figures. <sighs> We should show down there too. We'll show down there. Just like have like all our Star Wars stuff in a line. Yeah, that'll we'll, take we'll a while. do. Yeah, that'll be a, quite the video. But uh, yeah. so that's it. We're gonna go down. We're gonna mix the old, the new. Maybe make up our unofficial "What Happens After Return of the Jedi" uh, storyline. See how close we can get uh, when the movie actually <coughs> does come out. A lot of cool figures. I mean, the highlights: the Kylo Ren, Captain Plasma. Uh, the Stormtroopers, both Flame Trooper and Base One, are just cool-looking molds. Um, but they're, they're all cool. I can't wait for this movie to come out. Uh, once we see the movie and we know the backstories for all these characters, the figures are going to be even that much cooler. Uh, just the designs of everything. They wait look, they look Star Wars-y. You know, even the Stormtroopers, where they're, uh, they're different designs, they still look and feel like Star Wars, which is important. Kylo Ren, of course. Already an iconic character, much like Darth Maul was before the release of uh, The Phantom Menace. Captain Plasma, awesome, uh, awesome character. Um, hopefully they don't turn out to be a Boba Fett where they have one line in the movie and then get killed off with a stick the following movie. What? Uh, like, Wait, didn't he die because of the big monster? Yeah, well, uh, Han hit him with a pole and his jetpack went off and he went into the, the Sarlacc pit. So that which was very anticlimactic. Right? If you were of the age and saw Empire in the theater like I did, there was a lot of discussion about Boba Fett, uh, what his backstory was, how critical he was going to be to the mo next movie. Uh, there was even a subset of fans in a, the old Starlog magazine who were arguing that he was in fact the other that Yoda spoke of. That's how excited people were about more Boba Fett, and Probably won't come back. it didn't get out. Even Darth Maul. Yeah, we were so excited, and then he was on the screen, what, maybe a total of six minutes, seven minutes, and uh, no, probably got like, cut in half. 
relatively quickly. So we thought he was the big baddie, and he wasn't. So who knows oh, which of these yeah. figures will be disappointments in the coming years. Uh, hopefully not Kylo Ren. I'm hoping that he hangs around for a bit. I hope they all hang around for a bit instead of just getting killed off in the first movie. And just a little fun fact. Um, fun fact. Darth Vader is the longest living Star Wars person in the in all the movies because he started off in the first and then died in the sixth and uh the emperor died before him and obi-wan died before him that's and right those were all the characters from the first through third so there's no more first through third characters now yeah i think uh r2 r2 d2 and c3po and anakin skywalker slash darth vader are uh, the longest are the longest i mean obi-wan did appear in parts three and four as a ghost, yep. so he technically was in the movies. You mean five and six? Five and six, what'd I say? Three you and said four. three and four. Yeah, but he was a ghost in Empire and Return of the Jedi, so he did make an appearance. Uh, so what do we have? C-3PO, R2-D2, Anakin slash Darth Vader, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, the Emperor didn't appear in the original Star Wars movie, so he doesn't count. I think that is everyone. Yoda well, appeared in Empire. Well, actually he did, because he was the counselor and then turned into the Emperor. Remember, he was the main counselor? Yeah, but not, not in the first Star Wars, just Star Wars A New Hope. The Emperor didn't appear. The first appearance of the Emperor was in The Empire Strikes Back. I know, but typically he's the same person as... Yeah, I mean, he, technically, if you want to look at it, he was in Episode 1 and 6, so he made it the whole thing. He just didn't make any appearances in A New Hope. Uh, same with Yoda. He was in 1 through 6, but nothing in Part uh, 4, A New Hope. So, disqualified on technical grounds. Um... <laughs> So we're technical grounds. We are what about three months out from the movie, and excitement continues to build. So uh, we'll be doing some more looks at uh, the other action figures as they come out as well, and who knows what other characters they they haven't shown us yet. This is what they've authorized to be released. Well, but we know it. Uh, Han Solo and Chewbacca are in yeah. this movie. Cause... But there's other characters that they that are new that they haven't introduced yet that uh, will be making an appearance, which is awesome. So we're not even done with the new characters being introduced. So we have yep. quite a ways to go until A Force Awakens in December. So I hope you enjoyed this four-part look, uh, manageable parts for you to digest slowly uh, oh. at the whole series. Oh. And I hope you guys, uh, if you got them, you're oh. enjoying them. Oh. And uh, that's it. We'll be back again real soon with another video. Uh, as always, I'm Matt. And I'm Lucas. And as always, may the Force be with you.